This is Jimmy. Right now, Jimmy has the hiccups, just like we all have. But how did Jimmy get the hiccups, you ask? Well, hiccups all start with your diaphragm, which is the muscle in your body that sits above the stomach and below the lungs and controls breathing. But Jimmy's diaphragm is a little irritated right now from all the food he ate. When we eat, our diaphragm is usually fine. But when we eat too fast, the diaphragm can get bothered with all the commotion going on from the stomach. So, your diaphragm starts to spasm, causing a lot of oxygen to be pulled down into the throat. When the air gets pulled down, the vocal cords snap shut, which causes you to make the hick sound. This repeated action goes on and on, and then it usually stops. Most of us usually only have the hiccups for a couple of minutes, but some people can have them for days, weeks, years, and even dozens of years. This was the case for Charles Osborne, who had extensive hiccups for 68 years, which is 24,820 days. Since the hiccups were jolting his body, Charles would have to grind up his food and do other crazy things we do every day just so he could live. Though Charles had a hard life with his hiccups, he had eight kids and married twice. Some people think that his hiccups were related to something in his brain, but one day they just stopped and he was relieved of his curse. He only got to enjoy this time of freedom from the hiccups for a year and then he died. At least he had a year. Other cases of extensive hiccups have been recorded, but none like Charles's case. In fact, he holds the Guinness World Record for longest hiccups. I, I really don't think people will try to be that world record. Now that you know about hiccups, let's talk about how to get rid of them using the basics. When you get hiccups, you get really annoyed and want to get rid of them as soon as possible. And you're probably expecting me to give you some scientific way to get rid of hiccups. But really, all you have to do is... Hold your breath, drink water, fast, scare, and others that your mom usually tells you. If these methods don't work and the hiccups keep going on for a couple of days, then see a doctor before things get serious. And that's all about hiccups. So next time, give these methods a try, and I hope you learn something new.